Oh, I see. It's more than a vase. It's a whole event. That's from Morocco. Oh, okay. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I'm here at the World Equestrian Center at this giant yard sale, uh, garage sale. It's really just a big building. All right, let's head on inside the World Equestrian Expo Center here in Central Florida, Ocala, Florida. Hey, so I paid the early bird special, which was $10, and that means we get to shop about 30 minutes earlier than general people, and the general price is $5. So it's not really a huge difference. So it looks like about half this building is consumed by this market. And I think that's pretty cool. I mean, it's large. It's essentially like a flea market. Things are set up in that fashion, but it's more so marketed as a yard sale. Some really pretty stuff over here. There's this $5 tray right there. Hello. Uh, this one is lovely. It's RS Prussia. Very nice. And this bird figurine here and they also have this carnival glass these little tumblers here they are marked JSTC that's probably from about the 1960s or 70s it's not an early piece there's a little chip there on the bottom of that tumbler here's a wash bowl basin it would have a pitcher to go with it normally little etched cordial glasses oh, this just sold I'm sorry it's lovely. That is amazing. It's hand painted with all of the little butterflies and flowers. Looks like there's a crack on that piece there. Wow, I haven't really seen that before. That's pretty good. Oh, these little Dimmy Toss cups. Those are nice. They're all dark. Ardalt Japan. That's adorable. I like the shape of that one with the castle on it. The square shape is very interesting on that one. I wonder how much they have on that. That's cute. And there's one next to it, too. Oh, there's a whole bunch more of the Demi Toss cups. This one's just marked Made in Japan. Right there. And here is a Dragonware teacup. You see the sticker on that? That's so interesting. I haven't seen that one before. I like this, uh, the Dragonware. And I do pretty well with it. Oh my gosh, how interesting. That is so strange. Um, I don't know what to think about this. Because it's marked Victor Victoria, China. And then the Japan sticker, I have really never seen. I'm so, I'm so, so, I don't know a word to say. Confused. I'm confused. <laughs> Here's another one, this dragon wear. With the Moriyagi, the enameling. This is made in Occupy Japan. Occupy Japan dates from 1945 to 1951, about. Oh, this one's pretty. That black one with the footed, that's uh, marked Japan as well. And this bird with the applied flower, that's really cute too. All right, well, we had a lot of fun looking at teacups. There's also this uh, etched crystal, cut crystal, I believe. No, this is molded crystal and etched, though. Ooh, this green uranium painted. I believe that might be uranium. Oh, wow, the punch bowl set. Oh, my gosh. That's brilliant. Yeah. That, yeah. Wow. Probably paid that 45 years ago, of course. <laughs> right. It's Here's a silver overlay piece, the candy dish for $4. That's really lovely. And this kind of reminds me of uh, Riviera, Homer Laughlin. I think it might be the Fiesta Wear. Says it is. A little mustard. Eight dollars doesn't seem too bad for that. I like it. Ah, those are very nice vases too. They have five dollars each on those. That seems very good in my opinion. It's large. You need to have a place to put it, but I like those vases. And this is Hall Jewel Tea in the autumn leaf pattern. Well, that's just amazing. There's some good stuff going on over there in that booth. They have wax and things over here. Wax and things. Here's another booth full of amazing glassware too. Look at this one. That is stunning. The blue with the crimped edges and this little ruffled vase. That's nine. That's a lovely thing. Now that is the cabbage rose pattern by Fenton. You could see the little roses on there. They call it Sharon as well. Like the woman's name, Sharon. You know, Sharon. 
Here's a $9 Fenton swung vase with the hand-painted flowers. It's signed on the bottom. I will probably get that. I'm kind of short on cash today, so surprise. Ain't I always? Ain't I always? So, um, this is a f yard sale, so I guess I should probably see if they could take less. But there's a pink flamingo here for 15 It's really not a bad price. I have my fill of flamingos. My table is overflowing with flamingos, in fact. So, I don't think I'll be getting any unless it's a really special kind of a flamingo. But this Fenton vase I will get for eight dollars I'm gonna pay them eight dollars I just decided so we will see looking at these brooches and jewels jewelry I kind of like this one here it's costume jewelry of course but it's a deer with a wreath that's neat uh, that one was six dollars by the way so I don't know I just I don't know it was pretty decent there's a dog pendant there for nine dollars Maybe, maybe I'll just get this. Oh, look at the Jack in the Pulpit vase. That's really pretty. That's known as stretch, I think it's stretch glass. No, this is just frosted glass. This is a frosted glass vase for $15. Looks very nice. Oh my, look at this large one. Nice broad shoulders. <laughs> okay, and then over here there's this little pig. Ah, they have a, a EAPG glass shaker for six dollars and it's consolidated glass company out of the late 1800s so this one is a clear and it's reverse painted on the interior of it the pink so it's very tempting just one shaker though six dollars I don't know I don't know there's actually a lot of things I could be buying but I'm just apparently not like a stupid there's this and now this is milk glass for seven dollars with this deer painted on it that's very interesting it's very interesting I haven't seen that before I feel like it's missing some sort of a top to it though which kind of annoys me Ooh, is that palm trees oh I don't see stuff like that so this is three dollars fifty a little butter dish in the pond I'm going to get that. Nippon dates before 1921. So I will... I'll get that. Yeah. So it dates before 1921 and after 1891 due to the McKinley Tariff Act. Okay, so I'll get this little dish. So I ended up getting those two things. I, I, I don't know. I lost my nerve. I didn't haggle at all. <laughs> I just paid $12. I got... they they gave me 50 cents off because they didn't have any quarters anyway so I got 50 cents off but not I didn't do have anything to do with that I don't know I'm just I gotten soft over the years with the haggling Ugh, that's okay I know it's part of the game but sometimes I just don't feel like playing it oh no that's a cool one you got the blue stand very mid-century There's the Libby uh, pattern, leaf. I think it's leaf pattern by Libby. If I'm not mistaken, the Cruet set that's right over there. All right, let's check out the next aisle right over here. That's a big open booth right in there. Wow, we. Ah, the good old West Bend hot cold server. $18.40 for that one canister. I actually sold a set of those. And I don't remember how much, but ooh, I like this green one. Look at that green. That's neat. They have some really great mid-century stuff here. A little bit of Pyrex and uh, glass bake. Mostly Pyrex. There's some corning up there, the canisters and the friendship pattern, which is, well, it's a Pyrex pattern, but they all kind of commingled. Lots of good ones over there. The Spice of Life pattern, the woodland pattern. Americana. Oh, we've got the clamshell chairs here. Very retro. Windows. Some trash. Ooh, it's Sesame Street. Doesn't that remind you of Sesame Street? There's an entire row here coming up of some fantastic older stuff. Horse items. That woman is trapped behind the glass. Ooh, there's fabrics. Oh, it's a blanket. $38.
for the horse blanket. I did this really awesome piece right here, and I did not know who did it, but Italy did it. That's so cool. It's either Italy or Tracy, but it's Italy. I haven't really seen that before. The clam shell, this like shell motif in an Italian pottery, and it's two bucks. So I'm definitely gonna buy that. I think that's really awesome. I love the color on here. I love the form. It's really pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab that. I think it's a no brainer. I've got trays over here. I noticed this Millie Fiore type bowl here. Eighty dollars. It's really pretty for that one. You got the little giraffes. Here's this art glass um, uh, fish right there. And then there's also this blown glass dish. I like this pottery for twenty five. It says Moroccan Safi Safi bowl. Oh, it's Mark Safi. Okay. That's beautiful. I like the green on there. Oh, wow. Look at these sconce type deals. Why are there? There's like brushes in there. That's interesting. Wow. Ah, this is known as an oil lamp. I haven't seen one of those in a while. It's like an oil rain lamp. That's cute. It's a little Linux Christmas elephant. I haven't really seen that one before. I like it. I think I'll get this. I like picking up Lennox when I can. It's a nice pottery. Thank you. And I like that it's Christmas. Right That's adorable. Oh, look at that vase. $10. That's nice. Oh, I see. It's more than a vase. It's a whole event. That's from Morocco. Oh, okay. It's from Morocco, she says. It's like a tornado, or not a tornado, a mountain? No, what do you call those things that erupt a volcano? It's like that. I'm gonna get this though. A lot of these beaded flower clusters, they have $5 each on them. Uh, there's actually two clusters here, $5 for this rose. I mean, they're just amazing. So I'm gonna get those. What is that? <gasps> Transatlantic, are those cards? Oh, those are neat too. Let's see here. $5. Oh, I like that. I might get those as well. It says French line. That's so neat. I like that a lot. And there's cars underneath the table too. There's a lot going on in this booth. I'm back in the one, if you hadn't noticed, with the Cambridge. Yeah. I just noticed under this table, this beautiful lithographic print. The color on that is epic. Oh my gosh. The, I mean, it's vibrant as all get out. Like, are you kidding? I wonder how much they have on it. Oh, and there's a vase there. The splatter vase for 14. What is this shape exactly? Oh, it's perfume. Well, that's not what we want at all. Ooh, I like this. This is known as granite ware and it's $35. It's in the splatter. I like the hinge on that lip. <gasps> Look at those dancing fools. The girls says RCR made in Italy. The Italian, what? Only $29? You're kidding yourself. That's amazing. You got that girl and this girl. That's really good. And that crystal horse? <gasps> $35. That's amazing. $35. That's so great. I want to get under there and see the, the price of that. Now there's some grill plates up top here. So the cobalt grilled plates, that just means they're divided. Oh my gosh, what is this? nine dollars what is going on what's going on what do you think you stick in there i don't know i'll just leave it like that Ooh, look at the scarab five dollars for the scarab ring oh my gosh that is a scarab right or is it some sort of a bug that i'm not aware of I thought it was like a, a, um, an Egyptian bug. I don't know, but I, I, I kind of enjoy that. Let's look at this now. Okay, I don't see a price on it. I do not see a price. Now, the thing is, I'm not really in the market for anything like this. So we're just going to put it back. But... The color is so great. The, all the reds and the blues, they're so good. 
I don't see a mar maker on this one. I think I did pretty well here at the World Equestrian Center yard sale, and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.